Open Heavens on the Go Sunday, May 26th, 2024 Topic He is a Rewarder Memory Verse Hebrews 11.6 But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Bible reading Matthew 10, 40-42 He that receiveth you receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water, only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. The message Peter's encounter with Jesus at the lake of Genesaret is a pointer to the fact that our Lord is indeed a generous rewarder. Luke 5, 1-7 He allowed the Lord to use his boat as a pulpit and was rewarded with such a great catch of fish that his boat began to sink. He had to call additional hands to help him manage his breakthrough. There are many areas of service that attract God's generous rewards. One of such is partnering with God to advance the agenda of heaven. This was what happened in Peter's case. Another act that brings heavenly rewards is obedience to the Lord's instructions. You can see this in the story of Abraham who obeyed God when he was instructed to get out of his father's house to a place God will show him. Genesis 12, 1-4 He obeyed even though he did not know where he was going. As if that wasn't enough, when he was eventually blessed with Isaac, the child of promise, he was asked to sacrifice him as a burnt offering, and again, he obeyed. As a result of his obedience, God rewarded him with an everlasting covenant of blessing and multiplication. Genesis 22, 15-17 Another area of service that receives God's attention for generous rewards is hospitality. An example is the story of the Shunammite woman who was so generous to prophet Elisha that the Lord rewarded her with a son, a gift money could not buy. 2 Kings 4, 8-17 The story of the widow of Zarephath is another example of how God rewards hospitality. 1 Kings 17, 9-16 she sacrificed her last meal and that brought about meals that sustained her family throughout a famine. The Bible says in Hebrews 13 2, Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. God also rewards people who host his presence in their homes. According to 2 Samuel 6, 11-14, God blessed Obededom so much for housing the Ark of the Covenant that he became the envy of the king. This is a great lesson to those who are reluctant 
to submit their homes as house fellowship meeting centers. Such people don't know the blessing they are missing out on by denying God the use of their space. Beloved, as today's memory verse declares, our God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek, serve, obey, and honor him. Use this to your advantage today. Key point. God never overlooks anything you do for him. He will always reward you. Bible reading in one year. Job 1-4 to Him for today. There shall be showers of blessing. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.